Hey guys, Mike at SB Reef Lights, uh, making a quick video to show you how to hook up our Wi-Fi lights to the router. And so to start with, um, the best results that our customers have had is by getting a dedicated router just for your lights. Um, I got the TP-Link off Amazon for, I think, $25 shipped. It's a triple diversity, so it's got the three antennas. Um, they're cheap, they work, and since I'm not worried about speed of data or you know, streaming video or anything else, you can pretty much go with the cheapest ones you can find. So the first thing you need to do is set it up, and I've already hooked it up, gone in, changed passwords, and gotten everything done so that I can connect easily. And then I've turned my lights on. Um, now, right now, I'm actually connected. If you see a solid green light, that means you're connected. If I go down to the app... And I go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi. So I'll find this here. And reconnect. Let's see which one it grabs. Okay, grab the house. So select it and switch to the other one. SB Reef Lights is this particular one here. Connect. and we're connected and so now if I go into the app I can now work on those lights and I got a bunch of different ones in here but for example I can turn this light on and off um, I've got another one here the white one turn it on and off and I can go through all the different modes. So for manual mode, I can select devices. I can select the 16 inch Wi-Fi test number two, 16 inch Wi-Fi white, confirm. And now, oh, hit start. And now, you can see it changing. And now I've just got moonlight on both. So you can kind of see what's going on here. up. Now the moon lights are brighter. I'm going to bring the blue channel up. Now you can see those are a lot higher now. And then now I'm going to bring in the white channel again. So you can see they're all working at the same time. I can also go to my smart mode and I can pick a timer. I can hit select devices and I can select the 16 inch Wi-Fi 2 and the white. Confirm. And now if I hit start it is now going to program them both, and it's past my last set point, so they both turned off. If I go back to manual mode, select devices again, Wi-Fi test 2, and the white one, confirm, and hit start. And they're back on again, and now I can, I can play with them. Come on. My fingers are too fat. There we go. I just need to clean my screen. So anyway, these are now doing exactly what they're supposed to, and they're working together. So now let me show you how to actually get connected to the router, because that's the difficult part. Okay, so what I've done now is I've pushed in that green button and counted six Mississippi. And at that point, it's going to go into search mode. Now, a slow flash like that means it's trying to use its own Wi-Fi to connect directly to your phone. That's when you're going to see embed sky on your Wi-Fi notification. You can connect your control one light at a time. In order for it to work on the router, it has to be a solid light, like on this white unit here. And so the way you get it to switch between its regular Wi-Fi mode and the router mode is that you're going to press and hold the button again for a six count. One, two, three four, five, six. Let go. And now it should start flashing fast. And now you go into your app. And if I go into devices, settings, smart link, and then you're going to type in the uh, connection for your router, and you type in your password, and then you hit configure. And now it's going to reach out and try to grab it. Now, Wi-Fi is not a super stable platform, 
and the light might be trying to grab other Wi-Fi in your house and so it's kind of a luck of the draw if it if it hits the phone at the same time so for best results turn all other Wi-Fi off in your house until you connect the first time after that it'll lock on every single time the light turns back on so even if you have a power out it's gonna grab that router right away so this may take two or three tries maybe five or six before it finally grabs it um, but don't get frustrated keep trying and like I said turn turn the other Wi-Fi off in the house and it will connect so we're gonna give this a couple tries it's already at 12 seconds left so it's probably not gonna connect this time around uh, but we'll keep trying and we'll be back in just a minute okay so we've finally gotten locked in I've got a solid light on both units it did take me several tries to get it to finally hook up I ended up running inside and turning off a couple things that I'm not sure if they were interfering or not but it seemed to do the trick uh, one thing I've noticed too in playing with these is if you can't get it to connect um, and you've tried at least once to do the configuration if you walk away and you leave the light alone for a while leave it on it'll actually connect to the router on its own eventually um, it's taken an hour sometimes I've walked back and all of a sudden it's connected so um, you know you can give that a try as well but again just be patient keep trying it will go through but the nice thing is once you're connected at that point you can turn the light off and then when you turn it back on it's gonna blink once and then it's gonna go right back into lock so you never have to do it again at that point all right, so now that we're connected again, we can simply go back into um, our manual settings, select my devices, and so I'm going to pick Wi-Fi Test 2 again, Wi-Fi White, Confirm, hit Start, and there it goes. The lights are bright. I can change them. That's the blue. That's the white. And finally, come on, grab it. There you go, the moonlight. So I can change any of these. As again, I can go into smart mode, and I can hit 1, select devices, and again, I'm going to go in, hit Wi-Fi test 2, Wi-Fi white, confirm, and then hit start. And we are now back onto the program. And let me try this one more time here. There we go, control success. And if I want to go back into default, I can do that, hit start and now it's changed and let me go back into new quarrel oh, just lost the program try that again all right let's try this again here now we got smart mode select devices and we're going to do wi-fi test two do white confirm number one start control success and now we're back on so, again, very easy once you finally get it to connect. The hard part is just getting a good Wi-Fi signal. Now, again, I'm just using the TP-Link $25 shipped off of uh, Amazon. We do have one of our uh, customers that actually bought a, I want to say it's about $15 for a pocket uh, Wi-Fi. And it, it looks like a charger for a Samsung phone without the cord. Uh, you plug it into your six-way where your lights are plugged in, and, um, and it's a router. Uh, it's kind of cool. It's super small, super cheap, and he's used it, and it works great. So if you want something even lower profile, uh, that would be the way to go. We'll post a link to that product on our website at some point. But again, we are back in business, and that's all you need to hook up the router. You can now run up to eight lights simultaneously, uh, which is, is pretty darn cool, to be honest. There's no other black box Wi-Fi units on the market that will let you control more than one at a time. Uh, for the other brands, you literally, to control two lights, um, have to turn one off and connect to the other one to change it, then turn it off, connect to the first one, uh, and then turn the, the second one back on again. So really a, a major pain. Um, so a lot better here. The only other thing I wanted to point out real quick while I've got uh, you on the video is that the Wi-Fi module control inside has four wires coming out of it. Uh, three of them we use. Uh, one is uh, PWM3, that's for your Moonlight channel. And then PW1, PWM2, those are for your white and blue channel. If for some reason on your uh, control, when you're looking at, for example, in the uh, manual mode, if you were to take the blue channel and turn it down, and you notice that one light blue went down and the other light white went down, that means one of those wires is just simply uh, swapped with the other. And so if you have eight lights and you want them all identical, 
It's as simple as opening the case up. It won't void your warranty. Finding PWM1, PWM2, swap places, and now they're all aligned again. So that's it. This is Mike with SB Reflights. I appreciate your time looking at the video. Please visit our website, uh, www.sbreflights.com. Not all black boxes are created equal. Please read our FAQ to see why our diode choice and spectrum is significantly better uh, than the eBay boxes or even the other premium black boxes. And uh, it's going to get you better coral growth and better color development. Read the reviews from customers all over Facebook and Reef to Reef as well as our website. And we'd love to have you as a customer. Thanks.